Glaive Prime may be the best melee in the game, if you can even call it a melee that is. Regardless, some new tech has elevated them to a level previously unreachable that I just have to share with you guys because it's turned the Glaive from a slash monster to just a one shot, no dot required. That's a little bit more than just broken. Glaives, and specifically Glaive Prime, are not powerful for their quote unquote normal melee attacks, rather having a unique mid throw heavy attack that is responsible for all of their power. Holding down your melee key will charge a throw, with an early release giving you a 30 meter travel distance and a full charge a 50 meter distance. Bouncing up to 3 times and having a 1 meter punch through, during its lifetime in the air, heavy attacking will produce a 4.8 meter explosion and cause the glaive to immediately return to you. This explosion's damage makeup consists of pure blast with a guaranteed impact and slash proc, not requiring line of sight to damage enemies, having no damage fall off, and as seen, being quite strong. This is all relatively well known and by no means reason enough to add another video onto the list of Glaive Prime content, but there's a very special piece of tech right now that when applied to Glaive Prime, just breaks it. Being a heavy attack focused weapon, the combo counter system is paramount in increasing its damage, with each large number increase in your combo, say from 2 to 3, multiplying heavy attack damage by said number. This is why Corrupt Charge is present on all Glaive builds, as at 2x combo, you get a 2x multiplier to your heavy attack damage. At 12x, this would be a 12 times multiplier, but heavy attacks consume combo, and having to rebuild it every time is just not optimal. Imagine if we could skip that part, and have a permanent 12x. Oh, you've read the title? Well, that's exactly what we've done. Thank you to Unoriginal GN in my Discord for letting me know about this because, yeah, this is gonna get patched. The Route to Shotgun builds combo on pellet hit, of which it has a lot of, making 12x something very easy to build. Combining that with the Melee Guidance Aura, which with no other combo duration buffs, gives you a negative one second combo, and any amount of heavy attack efficiency means that on heavy, you lose no combo, giving you the permanent 12x damage multiplier. If you'd rather not give up your primary to do this for whatever reason, Tandem Bond on your companion also works, though requires them to get melee hits, which can take a little while to build up, but is effective after some time. Having a permanent 12x multiplier on heavies is already broken, and by the way, this works on any melee, it's just Glaive is extra broken with it, but it can get better. Running Wrathful Advance on your frame of choice with at least 254% power strength gives you permanent red crits on these already insanely buffed Glaive explosions. Glaive modding itself is a bit particular, so let's take a look at the build. Stances do not affect Glaive explosions in any way, so do not worry about that, just use Twilight as it matches Glaive Prime's base dash polarity. Glaive explosions are unaffected by condition overload, so we opt for Prime Pressure Point, giving a 165% base damage increase. In terms of critical stats, if not running the Sunny Frame with Wrathful Subsumed, Sacrificial Steel will give you 440% more towards your CC on Heavy Attack, and with Gladiator Might, that obviously becomes 550%, finalizing your value at 143, and Organ Shatter should fill this remaining slot. Though actually, I am pretty lazy and haven't gotten the Amalgam version of Organ Shatter, providing 5% less critical damage, but with increased Heavy Attack Windup Speed, use that if you have it over the base. If Wrathful is being used though, you can skip out on Sacrificial. Killing Blow will give another 120% bonus base damage, additive to that of Prime Pressure Point, alongside a 60% increase in heavy windup speed, which is sorely appreciated on Glaive. Volatile Quick Return is another crucial mod you may be unfamiliar with. Volatile does remove the Glaive's ability to bounce, but in doing so increases the explosion radius, and with it having no fall off, this is a massive increase in your KPM. Focus Radon is one of the new radiation combo mods from Whispers, providing said elemental type and heavy attack efficiency. This setup works with even the slightest amount, but I opted for Radon as the extra radiation is a small but present damage buff. A smite mod of whatever faction you are facing is also expected, as glaive dots like Slash are double dipped into by faction mods, don't skip these. Now, this last slot, if not filled by Sacrificial for non-Wrathful frames, is traditionally used with Corrupt Charge, but its absence is of no issue to us because of the infinite combo tech, and in its place I recommend Power Throw. 
There is quite a bit of misinformation present on how this mod affects glaive explosions, so let me run this one down for y'all. This mod does work on them, functioning as a multiplicative damage bonus towards the one provided by mods like Pressure Point, similar to Eclipse, though it does not double dip on dots. To actually stack this bonus up to its max of 3, you must be holding your melee button before you catch the glaive to effectively cue the next throw. If you catch it prior to holding down your melee button, you will lose the bonus. This can be annoying in some circumstances, but also it functions as Eclipse without needing Eclipse. There is nothing else here you can really use to buff your damage that highly, and even if not always active on the Wrathful build, I do recommend it. To cover some more recent additions to the game in Tenokai and Melee Arcanes, the former does not do anything for Glaives. Requiring you to use the melee's normal attacks, heavies are just how you play Glaives, so don't waste the adapter or forma. The arcanes on the other hand are a little more complicated. Intention is really really good on Zorus, but not on Glaive Prime, Vortex's grouping isn't needed here, and Animosity has the same faults that Tanokai does, requiring you to actually use the normal melees to buff heavies, which we don't want to do. That leaves Fortification, Retaliation, Exposure, and Duplicate. Fortification is great for any frame just wanting to have a chill health tank experience, as it has no cap, giving you some absurd levels of armor. Any frame with very high shields can also make great use of retaliation, giving more damage based on the prior's value, even with the annoying proc requirement. On the other hand, exposure just gives a lot of corrosive damage. That will pretty massively buff your explosions, and in combination with everything else, is what gives us the one-shot capability without the dot. Though it does require you to play a semi-active ability spam frame, if one cast per 25 seconds counts as active for you. Exposure is without a doubt my recommendation for the Wrathful setup, but Duplicate offers a very powerful alternative for the non-Wrathful version if the Glaive build is slightly adjusted. Duplicate at rank 5 gives a 100% chance to double your yellow crit attacks and only yellow crits. I mention rank 5 as currently the only way to get this arcane is Netracel missions, and it is insanely expensive on Warframe Market. Regardless, with it making yellow crits by far the best option, Changing Sacrificial to its lesser counterpart of Truth Steel gives you the combination of Gladiator Might's 110% with its 220% or 22 plus 330% of 22 for a final 94.6% CC, practically guaranteeing yellow crits. With that being said, here are both of the builds. Viral is a great way to buff Glaive damage and is fairly easily applied due to Glaive dual wielding mechanics with one-handed secondaries. With our epitaph, we can easily prime enemies as we throw our glaive at them, but right now, dual wielding actually bugs out heavy attacks on glaives, so this currently doesn't work, but if I remember, I will drop a comment below when it is fixed. Regardless, here is a generic epitaph build for revival priming, and if not shield gating, use this instead. Companion wise, a panzer is the best for passive viral spreading, and if opting not to use the Rauta, this build works very well. Well, if using the Rauta, drop Swipe and Tandem for these two mods instead. That is the Glaive Prime for y'all. I hope you put this to good use, cause I don't see it lasting very long before DE strikes it with the nerf hammer. Maybe making melee crescendo actually useful for Glaives. Anyways, a massive thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and YouTube for helping me continue to do what I do. You guys are awesome. Especially Aware, The Mad Monk, Scotty Nose, Sage, Intellectual, 3000, Erdis, Boogie, Cozy, Aqua, and Lexeli, you have my never-ending appreciation. I hope this video was informative and helpful, and I will see all of you guys very soon. Peace!